Yo guys, how you doing? Today, you, oh my god! Today, sorry I nearly threw the camera out my hands. Today, you join me down my garage. I am, I've just got back from collecting another set of wheels for my BMW. Now, if any of you sat through my whole drift video, which I hope you did, it'd be kind of cool to know that you did. You, you'll see I thought I blew my diff because of the noise that was happening, but I found out when I got it off the trailer that would actually de a tyre, which is super rad to me because it's obviously saved us a lot of time in the long run. I've still ordered a new diff for it, um, another 318i, which I'm going to get welded as a spare just in case. I've got my friend Alex Kibble coming around tomorrow who's going to help me take this diff off because it's definitely leaking, like there's definitely an issue with it at the minute. Um, I'm going to take the diff off, going to cut the cups down a little bit because it's got big end uh, cups in it, big end drive shafts, big cup, big case drive shaft, you know, you understand, like it's got big cups in a little diff so it is leaking a little bit so that will stop that in the future. I've been and bought today, like I said, another set of these wheels. Um, so i'll show you those real quick they were real cheap um eights and nine j style 66 bmw wheels you right finn we'll get you out in a minute mate uh let's get you out now go on let you run around for a little bit and uh so yeah my my plan today it's not going to be like super interesting i just thought i'd film as even if it's just to start to another video I need to get that Civic out of there because tomorrow Alex is coming around and I want to be able to have a garage to do it in. Um, and we've had the doors put on the back. Let me show you that real quick. So yeah, we've had the doors put on the back. It looks super cool and it means I'll be able to get a car through here. I really don't know how I'm going to get that out of the way. Um, but I went, I went to my favourite shop in the world, Halfords earlier, and I spent like £200 on rattle cans and, and uh, a car cover, 50 pound for a fucking car cover. But it says it's waterproof, which is the main thing I want for the EG. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna clean this the out and try and get the Civic rolling tonight. If not, then I don't know what I'll do. I might have to ask dad if he'll move his Chevy out tomorrow while we work on that, but hopefully not. And um, yeah, I've only got a little, like an hour to do this because I've been invited around for a roast to my mum. <laughs> so uh, saves me some washing up, sick. Okay, so in the old garage, about to work on an EG. Kind of nostalgic if you've been here since episode one of the Honda Diaries. Um, so my oh, my plan is to get the just the OEM suspension on the front back on, and hopefully I'll be able to then roll it out here, and then it'll all be locked up, nice and safe. Um, I have an old the old B16A out of the CRX. It's pretty fucked, obviously as you can see, but I don't know if anybody can use it for anything. Like if you want it, just message me and we'll sort out. You can't get it because otherwise I'm just gonna scrap it. And I'm gonna get rid of the suspension and that fucking door eventually, like next week as well, because it's gotta go. But yeah, so I'm just gonna crack on with this, get this little beast out and uh, covered up, so I can then put the BMW in and get on with it tomorrow. Sweet. Oi, what are you doing? <sighs> My plan fucked us both in. Because I, I don't know if you saw the other day, I put a load of stuff in the engine bay, look. And now I'm going to have to move all of it again to get it out. I really don't know what to do with that engine. I might just push it over. Look how blue it looks. Ooh, gross. Oh, fuck. Dry shafts aren't obviously in anywhere. Fuck. Well, if we can get it just rolling, that'd be sweet. Not Drive shaft. Fuck. Fuck sake. Boiled by my own stupidity. Ow! I fucking hate cars. Right, just quickly update you. I haven't really been filming much just because I can't be bothered. Um, I've, I've cable tied the uh, drive shafts just to anywhere I can. I've moved some of the stuff now, so that's uh, access to here. Moved the engine out the way to over there for now. That was messy, but um, yeah, and should have some space. Hopefully I can just roll this out in a bit. I think it's gonna be quite hard because obviously the drive shafts aren't connected to anything, so the wheels are gonna be all over the place, but uh, hopefully it will be okay. Um, but the garage is looking sick though, like. 
open this up all the way and see what it looks like. There we go. Rad. Sick. Love that. So, I can't find the right bolt for that suspension down there, so I've just chucked any long one in I could get. I'm gonna chuck the wheels on now, clear this bottom bit, and just see what happens, and see if I can push it. Um, I could struggle on my own, but we'll just see how I get on. Okay, so with the help of a bit of wood, the car's now down on the ground. Uh, this is, might be tough, I think. Um, yeah, go on, Finn, get out of the way for me, boy. Go on. Cheers, mate. Right, that's been re cable tied, so I'm now going to try and re pull it out. Finn, where are you? Okay, and for this, I've put my dog out of the way because I just I know what he's like. He would get run over. Hara, pray for Harambe. My pure rage helped me get it out. I didn't film it because I didn't want to see you guys to see me like that. But oh my god, she's out of the garage. We can shut the doors. Oh, let's get that car cover on it now. I'm so happy that's finally done. Holy shit! Woo! So this is the car cover. It cost me. 50 pounds, which is 50 pounds more than the Civic cost me, but I just want to keep it safe while I'm not doing any work on it because obviously I'm DK now, so that's just what I want to do now. So, no, we are going to get the Civic started on at some point, it's just, obviously like most of my friends have all been busy and um, I don't want to be like begging them for help all the time when they've got their own stuff going on, like Will's been sorting out his, e his EF and all that sort of shit. So, uh... Yeah, this should keep it safe, I hope. Oh, it looks like a tent, I guess. Oh, oh it's got it on the wrong way up. Fucking hell. There we go. Fucking lovely. Oh, fuck, I've broken it already. Oh, well, at least it shouldn't blow away. Right. We just have to put our faith in Halford's car cover for the car not getting fucking wrecked. But there we go. Car cover basically on. I'm sure I'll get comments down below going, Oh, you couldn't do it right. Oh my God, you're fucking shit. Oh, just drink bleach and die. Whatever. There we go. Car cover on. Wicked. So I'm not done for today, but right now it is time for me to go and have some dinner. And then I'm going to come back down. No, 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 don't rip that one either. I'm going to come back down and I'm going to do the new wheels I've got. I'm doing in here. Just put the radio on, just chill out, have some fun. Well, chill out, I guess, and uh, let the dog wander around a little bit more because I've got nothing else to do. And uh, prepare for tomorrow. Pretty, pretty excited. I might even bring the BMW in and then just do the wheels up the back here because it's just, oh, it's so nice in here now. Look at all this light. Look at the space and the light. I'm going to obviously clear all this shit out. Give it another proper, proper clear out at some point. But uh, yeah, I'm actually super, super stoked on this. So yeah, rad. What a great idea the doors at the back were. My central locking is going crazy. The fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is that noise? It's the central locking. What is going on? Fuck. 
See, Finn, no doubt, German engineering, just turn the key a few times and it stops, perfect. Sweet. And I see all your comments on Dan's video about my rear lights, I think they look sick. It's a period correct lights and shit. Real quick before I go get some food, let's get the, uh, the wheels and stuff in. Gonna lay some like tarp down over here and uh, sand them down a little bit later and then spray them in the new colour. Haven't really left much room, have I? I left loads of room at the front. Mm, definitely brought it forward a little bit. Of course, she's no sick! I go get the last one. I've got another set of style 66 BMW alloys. 8J for the front, 9J for the rear. It's, it's exactly what I have on it at the minute. But I'm gonna spray these a cool colour. And, you know, I'm, I've got some sanding paper and stuff, kind of sand them down a little bit this time, but they actually look better condition than the ones I've got now. I got these super cheap, which is a spare set for drifting, so yeah, cool. So when I say we, I do mean me and my dog. I'm, I don't know why I talk like that, I do apologise, but... Anyway, I did a trip to Halfords, the one and only, best store ever. Um, I got some gear oil for the diff tomorrow, uh, 10W40. I've got the thicker stuff because I think the pressure we put in the engines under, at the drifting, that'll probably be a bit better to... Just have some uh, have some thicker stuff in it just to <coughs> keep it lubed. Um, I don't know if this is going to be enough. I can't remember exactly how much we use. I'm pretty sure I've got another primer in the other room still. Um, I've got a wire brush to try and, uh, you know, scratch it down a little bit. Uh, like that. Get it a bit smoother, like vice. See? Um, this time, I've also got masking tape so I don't paint on the tyre because it looks ridiculous. So... I learnt last time that we don't need to do all the same coats, so what I'm going to do is these like random Ford ones, I'm going to lay down over the top and just see how they are. I'm doing it gold by the way, so let me know down below if you think gold's a good choice. I say gold, it all says gold on the things, they don't really look gold on there, but we'll see. And then I've got Nissan gold metallic spray, so I'm going to do the top layers of. Um, so hopefully it looks kind of cool, even if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm only going to enter it at Show and Shine at Distance 38 and Ultimate Dubs this time. So yes, sweet. <laughs> Alright, cool. Delicious dinner. Thanks. Mm, thank you very much, Mother. So now I'm going to set up this bit area down here. I want to spray, but I obviously don't want to ruin the floor. So I'm going to put this that I got that, that Jordan let me have with the EG and put that down and then spray on top of that. So I don't, I haven't put the sheet down just yet. I don't want to do this as bad as I did the last one. So I'm going to tape up the little end sport badge that's on there and I'm also taking out them. Going to uh, obviously tape up these as well this time. I'm going to try and brush them down a little bit. This could be really boring so I don't know how I'm going to film it. I don't know whether I'll just speed it up or I won't film any at all. We'll just, we'll just see. We'll see what I come up with. <laughs> this is a terrible attempt but um, it should be okay. Uh, Hopefully <laughs> my dog does not know what's going on. Bless his heart. Oh dear. We normally in our nice warm house, aren't we? I probably should have cleaned these before I do this. Never mind. Got most of the dirt out of the cracks, but like I said, these are only drift wheels, so I don't really care if there's blemishes and stuff. I just want it to like look better than the last ones. I've got masking tape here. So, I'm gonna tape up everything that I wanna keep nice on the wheels, like the tires and the M badge and the air thing. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and spray it up. So I've not done a bad job, if I say so myself. Way better than that last time. But let me show you up close. Look at that, it looks way better than last time. So, uh, yeah, gonna, primer it all, well, tape it all up, primer it, and then uh, see how it looks after. Okay, so I've got the wheel all masked up now. I'm about to smash it with the first lot of primer. Um, like I said, I've scuffed most of the dirt shit off of it, but there's just a bit left in it, in, a bit left on it in places, but nothing that um, I'm gonna whinge about, because like I said, they're just, they were just a set of wheels for me to have fun with and chuck a spare set of tires on for drift days and stuff, so whatever I guess, so let's get it done. Okay, I think that should be okay for the first layer of primer on this wheel. I'm gonna let that dry now. Obviously, I've got the heater on, so I might actually do, oh, oh my goodness me. I might just uh, leave it near the heater. Hopefully that will like, obviously dry it up a bit faster. But I'm gonna make a start on this other wheel because this one's like real bad. I'm actually tempted to clean this one. Also, I might just use the rapid detailer because fuck it. All right, cool.
cool that took a little while but all four wheels are now primed that one's on the heater getting warmed up they all look pretty cool i think i've done a pretty good job to be fair i'm just gonna put lay down a couple of coats of gold well i'd like to lay down at least one coat on each wheel tonight and then do some more tomorrow and because we're gonna come back tomorrow and do more work on the bmw i hope you guys will stick around i know it's not honda stuff but it isn't always going to be so uh so yeah i'm gonna now lay down a first gold layer on this so i think we're gonna go for we need right which were the three that i was gonna lay down as base coats the nissan gold is gonna be the final gold so these they all look basically the same anyway look so uh we've got the ford golds and then the nissan gold so at least we've got some jdm on my bmw Okay, so that is the base colour laid down on the... I'm going to try and get this a bit darker. So you can see that's sort of what it actually looks like. It's actually a bit darker than it's shown on camera. But that's like the base colour laid down. Um, it's horrible. <laughs> but um, hopefully the rest will look really nice once I've got the other gold, this one, um, over the top. So we'll have to wait and see. What's up, Finn? You being a good boy? He is actually being a fantastic dog right now. Just chilling out, right? But yeah, that's the gold. So uh, hopefully this, this uh, Nissan Gold will uh, look way better. Just a nice chilled out evening instead of sitting in front of the TV. Done all four wheels now, having their first coat of gold. So three of them had one type of gold and then the other one had a slightly different and it's super different, but that one's still wet. The others have dried. Um, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I need to go get more lacquer. Finn is like super sieve over here. Like I got him a little blanket and stuff to lay on, but he's not very happy. So we're going to go home now. Um, and I shall be back tomorrow with more car stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing more stuff on the BMW. I love this car. I think it's like super rad. From me and my dog, if you enjoyed the video, consider hitting the subscribe button. Start off Danny DC2, who stole that off somebody else, but who gives a shit? Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, just consider subscribing. It definitely helped me out. Um, if not, I hope you'll come across my videos again soon. Peace.